Libra, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 18th to the 24th of July, 2022. No particular subject, we're gonna take an issue with something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. Uh, you can watch this for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, or even your North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your seventh house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support, the likes, shares, subscribes, comments. It makes a whole world of difference for the channel, really supports it, makes it grow. Um, it's the easiest way to support the channel and it's very much appreciated, so thank you very much. And the description box has all the information you need, links to Vimeo and Patreon for the extended website link for private reads, as well as Instagram link for photos. So, cross watchers, you are more than welcome. Let's see what is going on. Let's do two more. Okay, Libra. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Could be talking about your career, but this is also planning. What are you planning? Something we're aware of. Something you're not aware of. Recent past. Advice. Potential outcome. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles and the Moon. Okay. For some of you, you've got an idea or um, maybe a, you've got some sort of, yeah, that's an idea. You've got an idea where it's something that may take time to develop. Um, it could be that you have to take a leap of faith here in, in regards to something. Um, it could be travel, it could be planning a travel across the universe is in your past, which is the world. Um, but in this deck, it's called opportunity and travel. Um, this could be moving a fair distance if, uh, if this is what you're planning. All I would say is do, take a take leap of faith. What we're aware of is the full. So it's, it's going to take um, a jump. It's going to take a leap. Um, it could be where there is some sort of inner turmoil of what people think of you in regards to this. So this could be, you know, someone that's done something corporate for years and years and years and just thinks, you know what, I've had enough, I am doing this because it makes my heart sink. Um, it almost feels like whatever it is, it's our left field. Um, it's And it feels like a big risk. Um, and it could be the risk of... I almost feel like it's risk of backlash from family, maybe, for some of you. Um, it's like you, you won't be approved by family. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the nine of wands it's like almost like holding back what we're not aware of is the empress um so it could be a, a, a mother uh, type figure that um you don't want to disappoint or something like that um i just want you to be you be who you're meant to be because that's what your advice is the advice is the queen of wands the queen of wands is somebody that just takes action knows what she wants and then, please don't get caught up in gender um knows what she wants and just gets it and goes for it, takes a leap of faith knowing that uh, the universe will catch her. 
you know, outcome, don't panic about this. Your outcome is the nine of swords. And I think this is just um, telling me about this sort of panic about the risk. Um, and the nine of swords, I would say, is your inner torture. Um, it's the the anxiety um, in regards to something. Maybe thinking this risk will all come crashing down or something like that, or, you know, what would I do if it all goes wrong? Start again. Is is pretty much as simple. And as I said that, it was 5 minutes, 28 seconds, 5 to 8 hertz is transformation and miracles. Uh, for some of you, if you're not um, planning on having children, be careful. The Fool and the Empress here can say unexpected children uh, or unexpected pregnancy, should I say. Um, but with the, the the planning, there could be where you you really, you know, you're um, planning to start a family. Perhaps you're going through a bit of a turmoil in trying to um, start a family. All I would say is the more you relax, that energy would change. Okay, that's for some of you. Um, but in, in essence here, whatever you're planning, start. Start planning. Um, I'm seeing this, uh, yeah, I was going to say I'm seeing Saturn here, um, there it is, universe, world. Um, Saturn's wanting to look at things, If especially if your Saturn's in like um, in a career house or, or a self house, or so, you know, something like the first or the tenth house, um, or perhaps even the fourth house with family, with the ten of pentacles there. There's, there's something about just taking that risk. You might not see immediate rewards, but in the long run, it's going to be fantastic rewards with the Ten of Pentacles here. So persevere, don't give up. Whatever you've got, whatever idea it is, it's a gift. Okay? Um, this, even if it's not an idea that you've got, uh, the Fool and the Empress can indicate birthing of a, of a creative idea. Um, even if it's not that, it could be taking a risk of moving a great distance, maybe moving away from family. Take the risk. It's something here where it could be a gift, you know, it leads on to something greater. Um, it could be a... It almost feels like whatever it is, there's, there's a great attachment to something where it, it, there's a feeling it could go wrong. Anything could go wrong in life at any time. Just live your life. Don't be stuck in a mundane nine of swords energy. Let your heart sing. Do what um, do what you're urged to do. Because um, I kind of feel like you're going backwards and forwards. I'm going to look for the two of pentacles. There's very much an indecision going on here. Yeah, it, we've got two of pentacles wedged between the eight of swords, feeling trapped in a situation, and the ace of swords. You know, and eight plus the one is that nine of swords. You, whatever it is, all I would say is go with your gut instinct. Go with what feels the scariest, um, because it's going to reap so much rewards. I, I, I wish I could say what area in particular this is for whoever this is for. Um, but it's going to be so for many of you. So whatever feels scary, do it. All right. Because it's going to reap so much rewards. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't pan out exactly how it is, you just start again. Life is all about living, not being stuck in the eight of swords. It's about living. Um, you've got amazing things to come. Um, you know, you have a great life in front of you, but, uh, uh, it is exactly that. It's in front of you. It's not behind you. Uh, and it's not where you're in a stuck moment. Um, so even if it's just baby steps, take the leap of faith. If it feels scary, it means it's worth it. Right? <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see. We could have in your chart I'll be dealing with. We have Gemini Aquarius. We have Taurus Libra. We have Capricorn. 
we have Moon in Sagittarius, Cancer Pisces, Venus in Virgo, Mercury in Taurus, Libra Scorpio, we've got swords, we've got pentacles, we've got wands, did we have any cups? No cups, there's no, whatever this is, there's no emotions attached to it. Um, so maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe we need to bring emotions into it. Where's the first cup? The five of cups, it's disappointments and um, and risk of failure. Um, just do it, just do it. If it feels scary, do it, okay? In your extended, we'll look into uh, what this is a bit further. We'll do a nine card spread, past, present, future. We'll look at the positives, negatives, watch out for as well as your next steps. And we'll see from there. Okay, Libra, if you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if it resonates and I'll see you next week. But just just trust it. Like I say, if it feels scary, it means it's the right path. All right, see you soon.